Jackie here too, y'all. But this is a 15 needle. Yes. Um, so y'all didn't have the uh, the new machine? Yes, this is the new. This is the new, okay. So yeah. Okay, both of these are new machines. Okay. Yeah. I got a 1502. I got a Vision 1502. Oh, 1502. Um, this is what would be the difference? What What are some of the differences? Is it a new motor or a new, new motor? Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, new motor. Oh, okay. Um, okay. This machine, this is a new vision V22. You can see the difference to like the pads. Yeah, I see. I, yeah, 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 it's totally different. Yes. Right. And also, we uh, upgrade the inner part and the control system. The control system, did you check? It is totally different. The monitor is different. Yes, the monitor yes. is They put some work in. <laughs> you look like they done put some work in. And giving y'all a new model. Like all smarter and they're faster. Yeah, Right. Oh, okay. And excellent, the excellent. Will be more friendly to you. Right, right, right. Okay. It is much more logical. Yeah. Right. Logical. Yeah, I know we also make some upgrade under the machine head. Under the machine yeah. head. Yeah, you can see there are... Uh, yeah, I see the tension knobs are different. Yeah. Yes. Tension here and we also the spring and the tension the checking system. So, it is double cam and the spring. Inspector of the ground. So, since the ground, go most smooth. Right, okay. Yep. Yep. Okay, y'all. So, listen, I came here expecting just more needles like a lot of other companies, but they have revamped this. This is a different machine. This is yes, a more totally improved, different one. They went into improving yeah. uh, the machine. And they're here. A lot of y'all are scared to deal with these other companies. You don't want to go overseas. You have this fear that um the price is, is it, you know how much how much how much is this how much is this one, uh, this one for self pickup is uh, six oh ninety nine yeah six oh ninety nine okay so yeah. six so six thousand for this yeah. and um pick up from uh, united states the warehouse okay excellent yeah. and you can pick up you know i picked mine up from atlanta delivery from the warehouse so yeah delivery we have a warehouse in atlanta and uh, right yeah if you like this, this machine uh, about uh, july Okay. Yes. So this, this, this. At the end of the July. This is yeah. fresh off the dock. We can This thing isn't released uh, in July, y'all. And like I say, they, they have come down here. Yeah. They have come down. They, they, they're down in the U.S. A lot of y'all scared of yeah. certain, certain support. We have four warehouses in the United States. Los Angeles, Atlanta, Houston, and Alinda. And Alinda, y'all. Yeah. So. In New Jersey. And, uh, you know, the customer service, man, I've seen, I've seen them. I seen them visit somebody this weekend that I uh, that I talked to. So, y'all, you know, I don't know what else to tell you. Y'all just want to pay more for worse equipment. You can do that, but you can go and deal with, uh, you know, those overseas. And, you know, I can stand by by because I have one. <laughs> I have one, and y'all seen it working. And, uh, again, they've made new improvements coming out in July. Uh, that'll be released in July, and again, you can pick these things up in four different locations um, here today. So, appreciate you. What's your name again, brother? Er, my name is Alan. Alan, yeah. Alan. Okay, <laughs> Alan. You see Alan all the time in those uh, in those chat room, chat groups, man. And uh, you know, they're here. They're here to answer questions. They're here to answer questions in the chats, and um, in any problems, any any troubleshooting you need, they're there. So I haven't had any issues with them, man. I've, you know, I've been loving my buy machine thus far, and very interested in this new model that they have coming out. And the Vision V22. So that's the Vision, y'all, and this is the um, the M22. Yeah. Uh, this still has uh, 15 needles. Yeah, 15 needles. Is it the same uh, sew size? How big can they sew out on? Uh, no, uh, M22 has a bigger. Uh, in bordering areas, that uh, uh, older measure than the older yeah, one. Yeah. Now it's 400 mm by 600 mm. mm. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So it will be more larger. Right. right. What's the uh, people like the speed? What's the, what's the are the speeds the same? Still at a thousand stitches, or the speed is the same? Speed is the same. Yeah. Y'all, yeah. so, yeah, the speed is the same. Yeah. 
um, you know, a lot of times you don't want to run these machines out thousand and now stitches. The, you just want to... the structure is a little, a little changed, and the stand you can see it, it changed a lot. The stand. Yeah, this is uh, so yeah, smaller now stand for you. It will be more easy to to set up. To set it yeah, up. Yeah, right? you just need to uh, make this part connection with. Okay, yeah, okay. this is the whole part. You do not do assemble again. Okay. Have yourself more time. More time. Yeah. More time. We'll just get that thing set up. <laughs> so uh, yeah, they made the adjustments, y'all. Mm -hmm. um, anything else you want to add or say anything else? Yeah, you can see this inside. <laughs> Inside extraction. And they're not scared to show you the inside. Yeah, we put the belt and the gear uh, together, not separated. Not so, separate. so the movement will be more smooth and stable. Mm. Yeah. So y'all they listen, they didn't they didn't just put more needles and add another number to the machine. Alright, they reconstructed the machine to uh to make things work um you know a little better for everyone. Alright, so uh that's bye for y'all man. All right, I'll see y'all on the next one. What, uh, just going to give a little commentary on what we've seen. All right. Um, first and foremost, double tension, double tension detection. Um, they've added, you know, they added some tension detection. Uh, they enhanced it, you know, and that, that deals with, you know, thread breaks. You have a thread break and your machine just keeps on running. Have you ever seen that happen where you got a thread break and it done ran an extra 50 stitches without the thread being in there or ran the rest of the thing? Uh, without the stitches being there, um, especially if you don't have a, like a needle change or something in between there, um, it helps. It helps limit those errors where that machine continues to run without the thread being inside of the needle, um, and you have to go back and try to catch it and re re. You know, this is why a lot of people don't allow their bobbins to run out. Um, you know they'll run it maybe 75 percent and then change it so there there won't be no missing stitches uh even though me personally i let mine run out and yeah you know sometimes and you know i just go back and just i layer over i go back to not just the exact point but i go back to the other you know a little farther back than that and let it run over it <laughs> this thing is priced at um 6100 for pickup it seems like you made a you know it may have went up a little bit but sometimes you got to go up not because it's a better machine but too just for branding purposes because a lot of people don't buy machines because they too cheap a lot of people especially the american culture has taught us that you get what you pay for all right you don't really win and sometimes you do sometimes you do like it, and it depends on the individual you know what i'm saying some people look at louis vuitton and look at those purses and say man this purse is worth five thousand dollars and then you have people like me that you know the counterfeit is just as good to me you gonna give it to me i remember there was a boom in the counterfeit uh air force ones man they, they were everywhere man the air force ones were like two for a hundred two for 75 they, you know y'all may be too young for this this is like 2005 in atlanta man i know it was everywhere though everywhere if folks was taking them shoes everywhere and bootlegging them shoes man you had a shoe man always used to come to the trap give you you know it, it, it was huts there was tents everywhere with air force ones and jordans they even start mixing the jordans and the air force ones that's how you knew they were kind of counterfeit but man nobody was talking about hey man them shoes ain't gonna last or nobody's talking about it because uh a lot of times like people wear air force ones a couple times you don't wear them things a thousand times. You finna, you, you think I'm finna spend? If I can, if I can get three pair of Air Force One, all white Air Force Ones, for a hundred dollars, and I know I ain't gonna wear them but two or three times, you think I'm finna spend a hundred dollars? That's just me. But some of y'all will do that, man. Some of y'all ballers, y'all got all the money in the world. Hey, you know, some of y'all will do that. But for me personally, no, I'm not doing that. 
I'm not gonna do that. But sometimes you have, and I'm saying all that to say that sometimes you have to raise the price for people to think that you're not a joke and that you're not, uh, you did they're not getting something that's just cheaply made and thrown together. Really, if it was me, I'd be charging y'all nine to ten thousand dollars for that machine. Because then you'll be like, oh, okay, now maybe they're making some new machines, some good machines now. You know, maybe, maybe it's worth something now. You know, but you know, pricing and, and take from that, glean from what I just said, pricing is branding also. You know, it ain't always about being the cheapest. You see what I'm saying? You could do shirts at 19. I seen a brother, he got some shirts on there for direct competition to me. Has my shirts out there for $20. I'm not dropping my price down to $20 for my shirts. All right. I'm just going to make better shirts. I'm just going to make more quality shirts and then I'm going to charge more. I'm not going to go down to that price level, uh, you know, scraping six, seven dollars off a shirt. I'm going to do that. Not for my brand. All right. But again, you can have the same shirts, but it got a different brand on it. People gonna feel like it needs to be more expensive. You can have the exact same machine, but it got a different name on it. It could be more expensive, and all that's part of marketing. And uh, one of the reasons that you know we was discussing um, discussing why some people are, you know selling their machines at such a high price point, and it goes into marketing and advertising and so forth, and paying these influencers all kinds of money uh, to market their products. Um, and so they have that, that end up, that charge ends up going to the consumer. All right. And so, um, buys probably finna do some more, or, you know, um, some more videos and more marketing. And again, them even coming down here, that costs, it costs for them to be in Atlanta, you know, not only in Atlanta, but they traveled. If you go to their page, you'll see that they don't visited all of these different, uh, customers. And it's some on there they haven't showed, you know, where they fixed uh, some people machines that, you know, they got their machines and machines weren't working properly. Uh, they're still under warranty. They went and they fixed those people's machines while they was in the States. Um, and so even to have somebody in the States to be a mechanic, to drive out and go fix these machines and so forth, all that stuff got to get set up. Uh, and I commend them. I salute them. I'm grateful uh, to meet them. Um because for me, I just glean from the fact that, you know, they're, they're, they're moving like a big company. But, I, you know, under my speculation, just something telling me that they're not that big, uh, maybe 10 to maybe 10 employees um, it, with a dream. That's what it felt like to me. It just felt like, you know, a small company with a dream, you know, Allen, Mr. Allen, that CEO, he got a dream. He got a. It ain't necessarily a dream. It's just like, bro, we, we we finna sell these machines, you know. We and, and got the attitude of a lion. Got the attitude of of one of these Fortune five hundred, um, one of these Fortune five hundred companies, man. Like we finna do it. No, no, we're not that, but we we finna walk as we are that. And uh, that's another thing for us to glean from to take inside of our companies, inside of our businesses that. We move like the big dogs. It don't matter that you're in your house, that you're in your garage. You move like the big dogs. Okay? You move like you like you're doing, you know, a half a meal a year in 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 revenue, you know, in sales, you know, in e-commerce. Like you you move, you move with a certain attitude, um, whether you got it or you don't. All right, because they don't know. All right. Um Machine at sixty one hundred dollars to pick it up, six oh six thousand ninety nine dollars. Um, again, you know, it's you steal, you steal, it's still a steal. You know what I'm saying? It's still a steal. Um, uh, for that, for that, for that kind of um, you know, for that commercial machine. Um, they did show that they have in that M twenty two how they got the, you know, they reconstructed the machine. They got the wheel in there. Um, they got the pulley in the pulley system and belt system in there with that same uh y axis module, so it moves, you know, it moves a little. You know, I don't know if you ever wash the machine sometime, but it'll or it need to, you know, what I'm saying, uh, that movement there is supposed to be smoother. Do I know if it's smoother or not? Do I know did it, it, it you know, comparison? No, because I haven't seen them side by side, so um. I know it still has 
um that locking me uh, mechanism on the side where sometimes it'll well not sometimes every time it, like if it does a needle cane it's gonna go it's gonna make that noise because it has a uh, uh the thread when it goes through that final hole it clamps it has a clamp on it on the thread so that thread don't be going crazy at that point all right and this is a lot of you know like um my recoma don't have that on it because it has a light so you have to substitute that but for most companies it's not worth to substitute the light is not worth to substitute and that's why you see the light on the outside somewhere hanging but recoma has their light right up under excuse me right up under the um the uh the needles so when you hit that light on the screen it'll light up all the needles so you can see when you thread in that um uh, when you thread in that needle or a lot of other machines you have to um you're gonna have to buy you a light and it's just more important to have the tension and i think um that is more important i think the light and i see more companies do that most companies don't deal with the light most companies don't have that light under there uh it's a light underneath the machine but not a light directly under uh where you thread in that so you can see that needle that lights up the it lights up the uh the whole stitching area so um you know but i'd rather have the tension i'd rather have more tension control and uh they've doubled that with um they've doubled that 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 tension control with with this uh with this new machine with that double tension system um is that something new i don't think it's something new i've seen those same kind of tension knobs on my industrial machine which is over 30 years old and that's my thing too y'all they're not reinventing uh the, the the wheel these these like it's just like the car it's just like the automobile it's just like the automobile you um most gasoline cars have an alternator a battery you know uh a starter um you know a radiator <laughs> if you know how to change the tires on a toyota you know how to change the tires on a lincoln you know how to change the tires on a ford all right they may have different lug nuts or it may have a key to the lug nut but you know you need to get those lugs off to change that you got to lift that car up and get those lugs off to change that tire and broader machines are the same way so a lot of you be worried about you know i know y'all concerned about well do they got the customer service here or do they don't really speak it's a language barrier Yo, watch another company watch another company and see and it's gonna be pretty much the same the issues are the same all right you got an embroidered machine you gonna have some of the same issues all right it's gonna point to certain things you gotta you got like the embroidered machine got a, a a a motherboard that can go out you know the screens can go out all this stuff is plug and play that goes on that board and at that knob that you turn okay to turn the knob to switch to the next needle and get it back to zero when it's saying no thread when it's saying trim you know the trim is in the same spot okay so you can watch these videos and fix your machine i don't care what model you got maybe maybe you know there is some some weird ones like that uh melco melco a little weird zsk is a little weird but uh a chinese machine is chinese machine <laughs> chinese machine is a chinese machine okay um for me i think they're all in a factory and you want to be a company that sells embroidery machines okay you say okay well so with some of the new models uh i want this on i want that on and then you start making you uh just like somebody coming to you to try to make a brand you know what i'm saying they want to start a brand but you know they probably gonna use the same guild they probably gonna want to use the same guild if not they're gonna use maybe they amp it up and get an la apparel um but they still gonna use you know the, these these same brands uh, unless they doing a cut to sew and most people ain't doing that most people don't want to you know they'll do that for their own brand but they ain't gonna cut and sew for nobody else's brand um but yeah i think that's about it man i think that was about it man like i said man you know i gleaned a lot from them. oh financing financing um it's just, to me i asked him about it and to me it sounds like it's gonna be tough all right he said you know we're trying to talk work with a company but 
ultimately, um, you know, seems like he's he, he's far away from that. If I had to give my opinion on it, he said, "Yeah, I'm working with some," but seems they're far away from that. Um, you, they want you to sack your money up. Got to understand that China doesn't. I don't think China has a credit system. They don't even understand it. Their brain don't understand why we can't save our money. <laughs> Why we can't save our money here and buy us a machine? Uh, so financing is not on their one of their priorities. Um, it's at a price where, you know, you you stack up and get it. If not, then you don't need probably don't need a, another machine. Um, or if this your first machine, you just gotta stack up, or you put it on your credit. Excuse me, you put it on your credit and um, you know, write it off at the end of the year, get a little something back, but. Um, no, nah, that don't look like it's coming, uh, anytime soon. If I had to, if I had to, yes, from, from the response that I was, that I was given from him, but, uh, salute to bye, man. It came down. They, they, they acted like some giants, man. Um, you know, I admire that, uh, in them and, you know, it's a lot of companies that ain't doing that, that ain't got to do that. So I'm not even saying that, oh, well, bye is the best machine on Alibaba or nothing like that. No, nah, I'm just saying that, um. They're trying to move. They're trying to separate themselves from the competition, and they're they're making strides. Um, they're making strides in doing that. All right. So I hope this thing was informal, man. I hope it. You know, I hope you, you get you learned a little something from it. Um, and and you took some like I that my conversation with them. I, I gleaned some business things that I need to do. Definitely. Uh, definitely dealing with marketing, and um, definitely dealing with attitude. You know, it don't matter what your condition is. You still need to move. No matter how small your company may be, you still need to move like a giant. All right? You still need to have the attitude of a giant. All right, with that, man, I'm a uh, peace and blessings, man. I'll see y'all on the next one. Finney Prince, out.